Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you my Mac Mini late 2009. Now this particular Mac Mini was used as our whole home computer here at college for a while. It had dual monitors and worked fantastic, but we wanted to use it as a computer hooked up to the TV so we could stream whatever we wanted, and these Mac Minis are great for that. In fact, I like them so much I have two of this exact same model. They work very well. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the specs of this computer and see how well it runs here in 2018. Inside we have an Intel Core 2 dual processor running at 2.26 GHz, 8 GB of DDR3 memory, NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics using 256 MB of video memory. This particular one has a 500GB hard drive, however the original configuration would have had a 160GB hard drive and that's what's still in my the other one that I have just like this. We also have a super drive as you can see on the front. So let's go ahead and take a look around. To the right of the super drive slot we can find a IR receiver and directly below that we can find a sleep wake indicator light. On the back of the machine we can find a whole bunch of ports. On the bottom, moving from left to right, we can find the power brick connector port there, Ethernet, FireWire 800, mini DVI video out, mini display video out, so you can have dual monitors with this machine, five USB 2.0 ports, which is fantastic. Directly above that, we have audio in, audio out, Kensington lock port, ventilation for the components inside, and finally, back at the beginning, the power button. On the bottom of the machine, we can find a nice rubbery surface to hold the Mac Mini in place with all the cords coming off the back of it, in addition to ventilation all the way around. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this machine on in three, two, one. Oh, there. I don't know, it took a little bit for the bong to happen for some reason. We should have an Apple logo up here in a second. Anyway, while it's trying to come up, this particular machine is running El Capitan, which is the highest supported operating system by Apple, that is officially. You can use some patchers out there to patch a system to run a newer version of the Mac operating system on this machine. However, I have no need to do that, so I'm just leaving it at its max of El Capitan. So let me go ahead and... Um, Figure out how to do this. Make it a little brighter for you. Now all those lines on the screen aren't really there in real life. That's just how the camera picks up an image off of the, uh, the display there. It's not really anything I can do about it. I can try to do some different things here, but it'll always come back. Anyway, like I said, this is running El Capitan, which is macOS version 10.11.6, I believe is the newest for it. And it runs just fine on this machine. We can do anything we want on it, from video streaming to listening to music to whatever. So there we are, up and running. And let me make sure that it's still like focusing on something that's not ridiculous. And we'll go ahead and go to about this Mac. Now, why do I film the screen like this instead of actually using a built-in, you know, screen recorder? Well, I don't want to uh, burden the system with any more, um, you know, things like that while I'm trying to demonstrate the speediness of it. So by filming it separately, um, I can... Uh, you know, provide the exact speed of the machine while I'm showing it to you. A little bit complicated there, but that's how it is. Anyway, there's a specs of the machine that I just, uh, said earlier. I'm using this HP display right now because that's all I have. Uh, that would hook up to this machine anyway. Uh, the optical drive was replaced because the original uh, super drive was broken. So they just call it an optical drive now. It doesn't say super drive on it anymore. Uh, it does have 8 gigs of memory inside of it, however, and it does quite well. Now, being El Capitan, uh, many web browsers still support that to this day, as of making this video anyway. We do have an up-to-date version of Safari, Firefox, Chrome, and Opera on here, and they all work just fine. 
we'll go ahead and take a look at Safari here. And you can browse the web with anything. Uh, let's go to the lighting site here. And there we go. And we can scroll through and take a look at anything here. And it, it keeps up very fast. It's pretty snappy. So we'll quit Safari. I guess I could have left it open because now I'm going to go back to it. Because I just want to show you YouTube. which works on this machine without any problems at all. You can watch 1080p content just fine. We don't have any problems doing that. Now, we don't use 4K on this machine because the TV or end projector that's, that they are hooked up to, neither one of them is 4K, so no need to worry about that. 1080p works just fine. And again here we can scroll through and, and everything's loading right up. So yeah, watching and streaming video on this machine is a breeze. It works absolutely fine. That's why we love using it as a uh, streaming media computer with our televisions. So anyway, any internet task you throw at it works very well. Next to that we have up-to-date iTunes, Spotify, um, and then we have Word here, which does still work on this machine. This is the most up-to-date version of Word. Word or Office, I should say, Office 2016. So this word probably needs a little bit of an update, but it is the 2016 version. So we'll wait for it to come up here. Again, sorry about the weird design stuff going on with the screen. So we'll hit Create. Let it think a little bit there, and, and we'll make a just type something there. Yeah, it needs an update, but that's okay. So go ahead and quit Word. Don't save. Obviously, we haven't used Word on this machine in quite a while, being it's mostly used for streaming media. All these other applications that are in here do work on this machine without any problems at all. Um, iMovie uh, videos have been edited on this machine. Um, Let's see, what else? Yeah, everything pretty much works on here. All of these applications, none of them don't work. Oh yes, Minecraft works on this machine. Again, don't expect anything too extravagant out of it. You can get, you know, average settings out of it. You know, nothing too, too much. But it is usable. So overall, this late 2009 Mac Mini, I think is a fantastic deal for what it is. Um, personally, like I said, I have two of these things and they work for what I want to use them for. They're plenty powerful for, you know, a set-top box type computer. And you could do even more, you know, than just that with them. You can do some light editing, things like that. Of course, you could put Photoshop on here too and do that kind of stuff. But again, with us using this as mostly a, you know, set-top box streaming device, that's not really needed. Anyway, overall, this computer's holding up quite well here in 2018, and I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.